What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lad. We are in another video on Military Tycoon and we have the Staff Comanche this week. Oh, spoiler alert, it's pretty good. I don't really know why it has only a 3 days deadline. Events usually last a week. It's probably a mistake, but you don't want to bet on it. There are many upgrades and they are, oh boy, they are expensive. One of the reasons I made this video is to showcase the different upgrades. So you can decide which upgrades to get first. You need 300,000 points to get a Comanche. The way to go is to destroy your alternate account. 5,000 points per kill. So you only need 60 kills. You can do that under 10 minutes. If you do not have an alternate account, the F-35 NPC works great too. Just don't do the Juggernaut boss. It takes time to spawn, it's competitive, and it's just 2,500 points more. Not worth it. But I am still gonna show you how the Juggernaut boss is like. So there are a few sites where the Juggernaut boss will spawn, and they are all marked with an icon. Nope, not here, not spawn yet. Let's check out another site. Oh, this is how the Juggernaut looks like. Okay, I am gonna switch to a Super Edger. Super Edger has a good history of dealing with high health NPC. Ah, yes, so you destroy the Juggernaut boss really quickly with the Super Edger. One more, look at this. Yep, but I am going to destroy alternate account instead. If spawn shield is a problem, simply exit and re-enter the vehicle. It shouldn't take you more than a second to do that. Let me show you the F-35 NPCs. So you will get a Comanche when you accumulated 300,000 points. Speed and health looks great. Damage is a little underwhelming on the stats, but it's usually not accurate. Who knows? I don't really know why it doesn't show the model of the Comanche. The speed is 104. Not too fast, but I guess it's alright on a helicopter. There are special upgrades. Oh wow, 4 special upgrades. Double lock-on, better stealth, passenger turret upgrade and barrage upgrade. Oh, I think I should see it before it is upgraded. Feels decently fast. I like it as a helicopter. Both weapons are missiles. 4 missiles from the primary attack. A barrage of missiles on the secondary attack and you can fire it twice 5 to 6 missiles per barrage Alright, let's purchase the upgrades Double lock-on I suppose it has 2 missiles per shot now 1250 diamonds Wow, better stealth Yeah, we know this Longer time to get locked on 1500 diamonds Woo! Passenger turret upgrade Oh man, I forgot about this. Probably more rounds. 250 diamonds. Barrage upgrade. 450 diamonds. Probably more missiles during the barrage. Wow, I just spent 3450 diamonds. Fortunately, I have like more than 20,000 diamonds lying around. Gosh, Military Tycoon is trying to burn out diamonds from players. Let's take a look now. Okay, you still have 4 missiles on the primary weapon, but each click will fire 2 missiles. I think that's the double lock-on upgrade. Just like the gold F-35, the secondary weapon, which is the barrage, has 10 missiles per shot now. Up from the 5 to 6 missiles originally. Pretty awesome. But you still have only 2 rounds of it. The Comanche is really different from all other helicopters so I will just use the gold F-35 to showcase its weapons. 6 missiles from the primary attack to destroy the gold F-35. So you cannot destroy the gold F-35 without reloading if you did not make the double lock-on upgrade. The barrage can definitely destroy the gold F-35 in one shot. Same for the silk fire. Now you cannot destroy the gold AC-130 in one shot, but I just want to show you how the damage is like. The barrage upgrade also made the Comanche really strong.
It takes 13 missiles from the Gold F-35 to destroy the Command J, and the stealth upgrade is really good. I will show you shortly. Look at this, that's about 6 seconds of lock-on time. It's pretty long. The normal lock-on time is about 3 seconds, so it is a huge increase. Oh, I forgot the passenger seat turret again. The turret has 150 rounds, you can aim with it, and it destroys jet very quickly. It can also destroy the Gold AC-130 without having to reload. I think the Comanche is really good for a helicopter, not the best flying vehicle because that would probably be a jet, and that's because it has nothing related to hypersonic or any overpowered feature of the jet, but it is one of the best helicopters right now. You should try and get it if you can, it's not difficult anyway. Nice arsenal of weaponry, very versatile, and it has stealth, great damage, speed and health for a helicopter. And what I've shown you are all at the stats of level 1. One way you can really use the Comanche is the bait tactic. Use the primary attack to bait a flare, then use the barrage to finish it off. If the enemy refuses to flare, the double lock-on would hurt him quite badly. Honestly, if there weren't any overpowered features like the hypersonic, extreme speed, ignoring of flares etc, Comanche would be one of the best. 